In at number 10, Jennifer Lopez. There have been a lot of celebrities that have lied to the public about their age, but this one was a weird one. For the longest time, Jennifer Lopez had the public believing that she was born in 1970. However, in 1999, a shooting took place inside of a nightclub where Puff Daddy, Jennifer Lopez, and Shine had been partying. The incident led to a 10-year prison sentence for Diddy's then protege, and one of the victims that evening was Antonio Rubin, who was actually shot in the face. Diddy, who was acquitted of all charges related to the case, settled with three victims of the 1999 club shooting. According to those reports, Ruben was paid $1.8 million, and yes, she survived that shot. When the police arrived though, they had to identify everyone involved with the incident, which led to Jennifer being caught in a lie about her age. In reality, she was born in 1969, but for whatever reason, she felt like knocking off that extra year made her feel younger. In at number 9, Millie Vanilli. For those of you who are too young to remember, Millie Vanilli was a German R&B duo from Munich that took over the charts with their hit song, Girl You Know It's True. However, one live performance in Bristol, Connecticut is what brought their whole career to an end. The band had the song on a pre recorded track, but midway through the track got stuck. Imagine getting exposed like that in front of 80,000 people. This incident though unraveled a whole bunch of other lies. The band eventually had to tell the public that they've never even sung any of their own songs. Rob, who was one half of the duo, was so distraught with what happened that he quit the group shortly after. In an number 8, Miley Cyrus. Back in 2018, Miley Cyrus was fighting to have a videotape of her deposition sealed by a judge. According to The Blast, Cyrus was caught up in a legal battle regarding her sister's dog, Feather. Cyrus's sister, Brandy, lived in an apartment complex that was paid for by her older sister. In 2014, Feather bit one of her neighbors, and because Miley paid for the apartment, she was forced to sit through a deposition where she answered questions pertaining to the dog. She claimed that she didn't know the dog, which is a hilarious statement to say in a courtroom. However, after the neighbor did some digging, she found a video of Miley and Feather together from years back. She brought the evidence to court and used it to prove that Miley's testimony was a full-on lie. Once Miley learned of the video's existence, she went to court to file an amended declaration claiming that she did know Feather after all. Now Miley is asking for that judge to seal the videotape of the deposition. Her argument is that she is one of the most famous celebrities in the world and is the subject of media and tabloids speculating concerning even irrelevant minutia details of her life. That neighbor couldn't care less though and still wanted the video to be released to the public. Although I don't think I've ever seen it. In at number 7, Nick Young. This is just another one of those messy, messy celebrity breakups that had people shaking their heads the entire time. At first it started as a prank when the LA Lakers were recording player D'Angelo Russell and inadvertently included fellow player Nick Young. In the video, Nick apparently admits to cheating on his girlfriend, rapper Iggy Azalea. Young then says it was false, Iggy says okay, and the relationship goes on. However, not too long after that, she actually catches him on the security camera bringing women into the home. To make things even worse, Young Young was still expecting a baby with his ex-girlfriend, a baby that was definitely conceived while he was cheating on his ex with Iggy. And following the security cam footage, Iggy tweeted out, I broke up with Nick because I found out he had brought other women into our home while I was away and caught them on the security footage. Then tweeting again saying, this is just like a second shot to the chest and I feel like I don't even know who the hell it is I've been loving all this time. In at number 6, Kanye West. Kanye West has been doing his Kanye best to get himself into this election for November 3rd. The odds seem to be very stacked against him, but time after time it looked as though he was finding new ways to prevail and end up on the ballot in most states under the party known as the birthday party. That being said, his petition to appear on New Jersey's ballot as a presidential candidate contained more than 600 defective signatures. Many of those signatures had very similar writing and according to a formal complaint filed with the state on Wednesday, election law attorney Scott Salmon, a registered Democrat, filed the objection with the State Division of Elections after reviewing more than 1,300 signatures that the rapper had submitted. West managed to exceed the requirement of 800 signatures to appear on the ballot as an independent candidate in time for the deadline, but now his whole campaign is up in the air due to him being caught in this lie. In number 5, Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson was outed for lying about her real name and her age. The Pitch Perfect actress had previously stated that she was 29 years old and that her real name was in fact Rebel. But thanks to an Australian tabloid, the world found out that she was actually a 35-year-old named Melanie Elizabeth Bounds. A year before the revelation, Wilson had told the tabloid that her real name was Rebel and that Melanie and Elizabeth were middle names she used in school to avoid getting teased. The tabloid uncovered official Australian documents that not only showed that to be untrue, but also proved that she was born on March 
1980, a full six years earlier than she had claimed. Two birds, one stone on that line. In number four, Angelina Jolie. Born in Los Angeles, California, Angelina is the daughter of actors John Boyd and Marshallan Bertrand. She is also the niece of Chip Taylor and sister of James Haven. On her father's side, Jolie is Czechoslovakian and German descent, and on her mother's side, she is French-Canadian and is said to be part Iroquois. Angelina has proudly said that she is part native, but according to her father, it's not true. According to John, his wife's claims of being part Iroquois were simply said to enhance her exotic background. After 1993, Bertrand turned her attention towards producing, and she was the executive producer of a documentary called Trudel about Native American activist John Trudel. It was shown at the Sundance Film Festival in 2005, and whatever her ancestry, Bertrand took an interest in Native causes and shared her activism with Angelina. Since then, Jolie has taken up causes such as refugee and immigrant children, although she is more than likely not Native American. You can care about it, but don't claim to be one. In number three, Bill Clinton. 22 years ago, the U.S. House of Representatives voted to impeach President Bill Clinton for giving a false testimony about having an inappropriate relationship with White House interim Monica Lewinsky. The potential scandal of 1998 saw the 42nd U.S. president give false statements under oath with a notorious one-liner leaving a big mark. The infamous words were broadcast during a press conference on January 26, 1998. In the summer, the president then admitted that he had been involved with Ms. Lewinsky, deeming the relationship not appropriate and a critical lapse in judgment. Mr. Clinton was later charged with two articles of impeachment, one for perjury for lying under oath to a federal judge, and the other for obstruction of justice. Impeachment proceedings then began in early 1999, concluding with Mr. Clinton being acquitted of both charges. Ah, democracy. Oh, and he wrote on Jeffrey Epstein's plane 26 times. Times. Don't forget that. In at number two, Lance Armstrong. In 2012, champion cyclist Lance Armstrong denied that he ever relied on performance enhancing drugs. He referred to these doping allegations against him as outlandish and heinous. However, when the US anti-doping agency released compelling evidence, the cyclist house of lies finally crumbled. The agency released about a thousand pages of evidence and doping allegations against Armstrong and his teammates. This led to him being stripped of his seven Tour de France titles and bronze Olympic medal. Plus, his lie forced him to step down as chairman of the Livestrong Foundation. Armstrong would later give a detailed account of his doping to Oprah Winfrey in 2013. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Amber Heard. Amber Heard willfully lied to U.S. immigration by telling them that her British personal assistant was just a friend and was not working unlawfully. Her former aide, Kate James, who was fired by the actress in February of 2015, has now alleged in a high court battle that Miss Heard deliberately smuggled smuggled her dogs into Australia, which then led to her being caught breaching quarantine rules and overall thinking that she was just above the law. The claims were made in a witness statement by Ms. James, which was submitted to the High Court as part of Johnny Depp's libel action against the Sun newspaper. With that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled The Truth About Ellen DeGeneres. In spot number 10 is lying about a crime. Lil' Kim's lie was more serious than other ones on our list. She did the unthinkable and lied to a federal grand jury. Back in 2005, she was sentenced to a year and a day in prison and was fined $50,000 after she lied about a criminal case and got caught. Her intentions were good in the sense that she lied in order to protect her friend who was involved in a 2001 shootout that took place in Manhattan. She was called to testify on behalf of her friend and manager, Damien Butler, and she claimed that she did not see him on the day in question. However, video footage then showed that they were together that day, so she was pretty much busted. She ended up admitting to her lies in her own trial, and that is when she was put behind bars. Coming up next, number nine is a sex tape. There are plenty of celebrities we could probably have in this category who have made up an excuse or lie to hide the fact that they have made a sex tape. But one iconic example is the time that Kim Kardashian lied about her tape, which is what people say made her famous. In 2007, there were rumors going around that Kim and her then boyfriend at the time, Ray J, had made a sex tape. Of course, she denied these claims anytime she was asked about it during interviews. But then, a few months down the road, the infamous video got leaked and she issued an apology. But some people also came up with the theory that she lied about the whole thing and that 
that she planned the video to get leaked and that it was all a publicity stunt. So, what do you guys think? This is literally one of the biggest debates ever. If she lied or was this whole sex tape planned? Maybe she did want to get famous off it. Taking over the number eight spot is lying about drugs. Another category that could probably have hundreds of celebrities. Uh, like pretty much every Disney star. Miley actually just admitted in that Joe Rogan interview that she, during Disney, like she lied about like being on marijuana all the time. Good to know. But this lie wasn't just some tabloid gossip. It actually ended Lance Armstrong's entire career. Everyone knows that the use of steroids has always been a very taboo topic in the sports world. For years, the pro cycler had claimed he had never used performance enhancing drugs, but then he was under investigation for doping. In 2012, he was stripped of his seven Tour de France titles after being busted for using drugs throughout his career. It was reported that he was running one of the most sophisticated doping scandals in sports history. He later sat down with Oprah where he admitted to the whole thing and of course apologized. Rolling into number seven is song lyrics. When it comes to songwriting, it's not uncommon for artists to work with other people to help create the lyrics to their song. But taking credit for it is never the right thing to do and rumor has it that is what Beyonce did for one of her songs. Back in 2008, the queen was taking credit for her catchy lyrics in her single, Irreplaceable. Now she did write the background harmonies, but it was later revealed that Neo had actually written the song. He talked about it during an interview and actually admitted that he regrets giving the song away to her. He said, One song that I gave away and didn't want to is Beyonce's Irreplaceable. I honestly wrote that song for myself. People were actually shocked to find out it wasn't her behind those words and it was actually one of his personal experiences. Moving on to number six is lying about an injury. Maybe there's been a time in your life that you faked an injury to get out of something or you made one seem just more dramatic than it really is. Ed Sheeran did this but we did not find Find out about it until later on. Back in 2017, he was making headlines after reports said that he accidentally cut his face with a sword during a party. People took it very seriously because they didn't have any reason not to. But then a few months later, the story was confirmed to be a total hoax. During an interview with Shortlist, James Blunt dished out the truth and said, Ed was drunk, messing around, and he cut himself. We made a fancy story up. People fell for it. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing for Ed because he was drunk and did that? Or embarrassing for us because we actually believe that he cut his face with a sword? I believed it. <laughs> I'm also an idiot. Halfway through our countdown, at number five is lying about a song. We have already touched on the subject of artists lying about song lyrics claiming to be theirs, but this is a little different. Singer Robin Thicke was called out for lying about one of his songs to a point where a plagiarism lawsuit came from it. In 2012, his hit song Blurred Lines was taking over the radio and he listed himself as co-writer for the lyrics alongside Pharrell. But then, two years later in 2014, a plagiarism lawsuit popped up when it came to light that the track may have been a ripoff of Marvin Gaye's song, Got To Give It Up. Robin then denied that he had written the song and actually put the writing status on Pharrell instead and claimed that he was not the co-writer after all. When all was said and done, Marvin Gaye's estate ended up receiving $7.3 million for the song. So uh, that was an expensive lesson to learn about telling the truth. Although maybe it wasn't intentional, you know? Like maybe they didn't mean to rip off the song, but it sounded like it. Up next, number four is lying about cosmetic procedures. This one is probably the most common one on our list. Oftentimes, celebrities will hide the fact that they've had any kind of work done and claim their features are natural. Like Kylie Jenner, for example. Despite being famous for her Kylie lip kits, there was a time when she was denying having lip fillers done, even though people could see very well that um they were done. For years, people were calling her out for having noticeably larger lips, but she always said she was just drawing them bigger with lip lines. Minor. Then, in May 2015, the truth was revealed by the girl herself during an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. During one scene, she said, I have temporary lip fillers. It's just an insecurity of mine and it's what I wanted to do. I want to admit to the lips, but people are so quick to judge me on everything, so I might have tiptoed around the truth, but I didn't lie. No, that's a lie. That's still very much a lie when you're denying that you had them done. Taking over third place is lying about your age. Let's be honest, it is not only a celebrity 
thing to do. There are times when someone will lie about their age to get into a club, or maybe lie about their age to feel younger than they are or older. But Nelly's reason was a little ridiculous, and fans couldn't believe he would lie about his age just to qualify for an award. There was an annual list going around for teen people's hottest stars under 25, and it seems like he really wanted to be on it back in 2003. He ended up being nominated as one of the hottest stars under 25, but he was lying to people and to himself because he was actually 28 years old. I don't know how no one like caught on to this in the process. Like a quick Google would probably clear that up, but he must have wanted it that bad. In spot number two is lying about marriage. There's been many occasions where celebrities have faked relationships as a publicity stunt. I've actually done a few videos on it, so I know for a fact there is a lot. But lying about a marriage? That is taking things to a whole different level. Actress and singer Brandy announced back in 2002 that she'd gotten secretly married to music producer Robert Smith. She said they kept the wedding private, and they even went on to be featured in Diary Presents Brandy Special Delivery, which documented the birth of their daughter. No one would have ever guessed that the truth was to come in 2004. Just two years later, it was revealed that they had split up, and that is when Brandy explained they had actually never been married in the first place. Like on her whole documentary show, she faked the whole thing. She ended up giving a public apology on the Oprah show, but uh, people were not happy. I mean, just why even say you're married? But I did watch the episode on the Oprah and she just felt guilty for having a baby and not being married And she knew she was pregnant. So she just said she was married the pressures of Hollywood I guess we've made it to number one and we have lying about a serious crime in January 2019 the former Empire actor Jesse Smollett started making headlines after reports said that he got attacked during a serious hate crime They claimed it happened outside of his Chicago apartment when two guys jumped him and started calling him racist and homophobic slurs the crime was being taken very seriously and it sent shockwaves all around Hollywood and on the internet. But then one month later it was revealed that he actually planned the whole thing and that it was actually fake. The two suspects actually brought the check with them to court that he had written to them to act out the whole thing and go along with it. He ended up getting kicked off the show and was charged for filing a false police report. But somehow the charges were later dropped which is like still mind boggling to me. Like he literally just got off clean. Lost the show and probably a lot of respect, but no legal charges. Number 10, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is first up on our list as someone who pled not guilty to charges of forcing himself onto an 18 year old girl. To this day, he maintains his own innocence, but the court says otherwise. While on the stand, Mike gave a testimony of his alibi. Basically, he detailed what he was doing the night of the attack and gave specific times to when he was doing what. But the attorney of the young woman was swiftly and ruthlessly able to poke holes in his story. The woman in question was Miss Black Rhode Island and was in town to attend the Miss Black America pageant. She met Mike there at the event and two days later was admitted to an emergency room in a hospital for physical harm. She was on the stand and told the courtroom that he had invited her over to his room where he forced himself onto her. Despite pleading not guilty, it is hard to dispute an alibi that had tons of witnesses. The trial lasted two weeks before Tyson was found guilty. Although he was sentenced to 10 years in prison, he only did three years. Number 9. Lori Lori Laughlin. Lori Laughlin was at the center of the college admissions scandal that became a total media frenzy. She had paid $500,000 to an individual who would then forge documents that Lori's two daughters were on the rowing team, thereby allowing them entrance to the University of Southern California based on athletic merit rather than academic merit. Although she pleaded not guilty to the charges against her, once she was on the stand, however, and judges swiftly followed with hard documentation of what she had done, she changed her not guilty plea to guilty of one count of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud. Her husband also changed his plea to guilty in the hopes of receiving a lesser sentence. Although she maintained her innocence in the beginning of the trial, by the end of it she had no choice but to come clean. Number 8. Tanya Harding Tanya Harding is the infamous ex-Olympic figure skater who was arrested for being involved in the attack of Nancy Kerrigan, another figure skater who stood in Tanya's way of winning the Olympic gold medal. While she wasn't caught lying on the stand, she was caught 
caught lying by the FBI under interrogation. Her ex-boyfriend, Jeff, was thought to have attacked Nancy and Tanya was thought to maybe have had knowledge about the attack. The interrogation lasted about 10 hours and 8 hours into the interview, Tanya's lawyers stated on her behalf that she believed Jeff to be entirely innocent of any wrongdoing. The FBI agent stated, Miss Harding had changed her story well into the long interview. After hours of denying any involvement and trying to cover up the plot, another FBI agent finally told her that he knew she had lied to him, that he would tell her exactly how she had lied to him. Also in the tapes is Tanya's confession where she finally admits that she knew that Jeff had carried out the attack and that she had failed to report it afterwards. Although she maintained that she didn't know about it beforehand. I hope everyone understands. I'm telling on someone I really care about. I know Jeff is involved. I'm sorry. Number 7. Martha Stewart Martha Stewart is absolutely infamous. And not just for her shortbread cookies. A day before one of her stocks fell, Martha mysteriously sold her share of the stocks off to avoid any financial fallout. There was heavy media scrutiny at the time and when she was asked about it on her show, she just replied, I want to focus on my salad. Eventually, Stewart was indicted by the government on 9 counts including securities fraud and obstruction of justice. The obstruction of justice charge was because while she was on the stand, under oath, Martha lied about the stock sale, stating that she had no knowledge of any insider trading occurring before the stock fell. Her story was quickly poked through when the man who told her about the falling stock admitted to lying to the FBI. She was then sentenced to 5 months in federal prison. Number 6. Bill Clinton Ok, I guess not a celebrity if, if you really think about it, but I mean, actually technically kinda. A former president could definitely be considered a celebrity in some ways. Months after supposedly not having sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky, a White House intern, President Clinton gave a nationally televised statement to admit to finally having a relationship with her that would be deemed, um, not appropriate. Although it's not a crime to be intimate in the Oval Office, it is a crime to lie under oath, which Bill did when he stated that he did not have a sexual relationship with Monica. Eventually, it led to the impeachment of Bill Clinton with the specific charges of lying under oath and obstruction of justice. Not good. Number 5. Jeffrey Archer If you're a true crime fan, you know who Jeffrey Archer is. He's a famous novelist from England, although he is more so known in the UK as being a longtime member of parliament in the Conservative Party. Now, A scandal quickly came out though about the politician where he was accused of flying a professional dancer out to the UK to have an intimate relationship with him. Archer sued the article publisher for libel and explained he was simply being philanthropic by helping out a down on her luck woman with some travelling funds. The story was odd, but for some reason he won the case. But then only a few years later another article was published that gave evidence that Archer had actually lied under oath. He was then brought again to court where friends changed their stories and he was eventually found guilty of perjury, meaning lying under oath. And he spent two years in prison for that one. Number 4. Marion Jones Marion Jones was the world's fastest woman at the 2000 Olympics. She was on top of the world as far as athletes go, but her fall from grace was almost as swift as she is. Jones was quickly blasted for being associated with performance enhancing substances and other track stars became extremely suspicious of whether or not she used them to achieve her miraculous speed. But she maintained her innocence even when federal agents started looking into the claims. In the face of mounting evidence that she had actually used the performance enhancers, she continued to deny any involvement which was a huge mistake. She then entered into court on charges of perjury for lying on the stand about her innocence. Finally she admitted to using the steroid and was sentenced to 6 months in prison and 2 years of probation. All of her medals were stripped as well. Damn. Number 3. Lil Kim In 2001, the rapper Lil Kim witnessed a heated weapon fight that saw over two dozen shots fired between rival gangs and rap groups. When the federal grand jury called Lil Kim to testify about what she saw during the fight, she claimed not to have noticed her manager and another member of her entourage at the scene. The false testimony was found out when security camera footage showed one of the men in question actually holding the door open for Kim. She was convicted of three counts of perjury and one of conspiracy in connection to her false testimony while on the stand. She served 10 months in federal prison and paid a $5,000 fine. Number 2. Jussie Smollett In 2019, the world mourned for Jussie Smollett as he claimed to have been brutally attacked in a racial hate crime while walking home. The attackers yelled pro Donald Trump words while also saying racial and homophobic slurs. But his story quickly fell apart when on the stand, 
Jesse gave his sob story before being brought evidence that he himself had set up his own attack in a bid to achieve fame and sympathy. He paid off his attackers beforehand and wore a noose around his neck hours after the attack to make sure that the police saw that it was a race related attack. Smollett initially pled not guilty and while on the stand continued to insist that he had not fabricated anything. He was swiftly found guilty of 5 of 6 charges, perjury included. He now awaits a verdict. Number 1. Amber Heard And now lastly, the infamous Amber Heard. While I'm sure we all know by now the story that's led to the media frenzy that is the current defamation lawsuit brought upon Amber by Johnny Depp, in recent times people are bringing up evidence that Amber has lied while under oath. Back in 2020, while the son was being sued for libel by Johnny, Amber took to the stand and claimed under oath that she had donated the full $7 million that she received from the divorce settlement to charity. On the stand, she stated $7 million in total were donated. But one of the charities, the ACLU, testified that she had not in fact donated all of the money and had only donated $1.3 million of the $3.5 million they were promised. They even claimed that Elon Musk had donated most of that money in her name rather than Amber herself. In 2022 now, Amber is faced with the fact that she lied about the donations and told the court. I have every intention of keeping all my promises. I would love for him to stop suing me so I can do it. But Amber very well could face charges of perjury for knowingly lying about donating the money. If she does, it will be after this defamation case. So that's extra stuff for us to look forward to. It's no secret that Hollywood has an ageism problem, especially when it comes to women. But in what instances has this led celebrities, young and old, to lie about their age? In the wake of Pitch Perfect 2's groundbreaking release weekend, Rebel Wilson was caught in one of these very old fashioned age scandals. According to one of Wilson's high school classmates speaking anonymously to an Australian tabloid, Wilson had been lying about her age, her name, her upbringing, and her family's class. Those claims were amplified across the Australian and international press and social media, which began a tirade to know the real Rebel Wilson. On May 18th, 2015, Wilson addressed the rumors via Twitter, joking, oh my god, I'm actually an 100-year-old mermaid, formerly known as CC Chalice. Thanks, shady Australian press, for your tall poppy syndrome. In the aftermath, investigations into business and voting records did show that Wilson's legal name is actually Melanie Elizabeth Bounds. She's not 29, as previously claimed on her IMDb page, but actually 35, born March 2nd of 1980. Rebel's fans maintained her lives weren't actually that abnormal or horrendous, with one Reddit user even pointing out that being 30 and pitch perfect isn't that strange, seeing as quote, Anna Camp, Esther Dean, Adam Devine, etc. aren't that far behind her and were also playing college students as well. Ironically, Ben Platt was the only cast member who was 18 playing a 19 year old. While some celebs are outed by former classmates, some like Constance Wu are outed by, well, their fans just not believing what they say about their age. Because when Fresh Off the Boat first came out and it gave Wu her big break, she pretended to be in her early 20s and even did interviews all like, lol, I'm playing a mom of teens and yet I'm so young, but her own beloved fans didn't buy it, especially upon the release of the movie Hustlers. It sparked rumors and theories online that she was faking her age. In February 2015 interview with Glamour, trying to prompt an age answer from the actress, Wu was asked about what her on-screen husband ran Randall Park, who was 40, was like compared to her alleged 26. Constant Wu's response was uh, to brazenly joke that he was immature while she was mature, and it made them feel like they were the same age. When the interviewer pressed further, suggesting Constance wasn't actually old enough to have birthed her on screen kids, the actress countered that biologically she was. In an interview the following year, 2016, Vulture set things right. In it, Wu is asked whether she's actually 26, like she had been claiming, or as the media had been reporting, was she 30? Wu claimed she was 34 and explained not correcting anyone previously by saying, I think originally on Wikipedia it listed my age incorrectly. There's a lot of ageism in the industry, so when people would talk about it, I just wouldn't correct them. While these two leading ladies lie downwards, some lie upwards about their age, like a young Lawrence Fishburne. The, he is the OG of lying about your age to nab a role actor. Lawrence was only 14 when he cold face lied to Francis Ford Coppola himself about being 16 to play the 17 year old character Tyrone Clean Miller in the legendary 1976 film Apocalypse Now. Fishburne explained in 2013 interview he was not fooling producer Fred Roos, though who he says knew him from a different project he had done when he was younger. So needless to say, the casting team wasn't entirely sure if he looked as old as he claimed to be, so they needed an extra set of eyes. To quote Fishburne, a young woman who was 
working in the offices, a secretary got up and walked through the room, he said. And as she was walking, Francis finally spoke up and he just looked at her and said, excuse me, you think this kid could be 18? And whoever this woman was, she turned around, looked at me and went, yeah. With the validation of an unaffiliated third party, Fishburne got the par. And although he was 14 when shooting began, he was 18 years old by the time the movie was released in theaters. However, his true age of 14 was actually confirmed to the entirety of cast during the filming of a specific scene where he had to talk about his love of Playboy magazines, and he fumbled through it. Caught aging himself down as the man who'd normally never fumble. That's Eminem. And there's quite a few age slip ups from this rapper. Once on Howard Stern's radio show in 1999, Eminem claimed to be 24. However, he was actually 27. On some tracks from TES and MMLP, he says his age, but it's always two years less than what it actually is. That and in TES, a Square Once Dance lyric dropped is, I'm 28, they gonna take you for they take me. Also, there's a video of Eminem celebrating his birthday on stage in 2002 and it says, happy 26th birthday. So a lot of confusion, but why did Eminem lie? Same reason as many celebrities, it's competition. There were a lot of young men in hip hop when Eminem was pushing himself out out there and the internet was just getting big so it's not like anyone was gonna fact check him at least for not a long time so Eminem often subtracted two to four years from his stage age which he later admitted in interview after it was found out because his mother released his birth certificate as part of that period of time where she was harassing him like crazy so Jerry Hallowell lied due to competitive reasons as well as she was part of the girl group the Spice Girls during an era of utter girl group competition Jerry was known as Ginger Spice and told the press she was 21 to match herself up with the ages of her bandmates and not throw off the public perception of, you know, women being perceived as old in the industry earlier than anyone else. However, it was her own homegirl who did her in, a fellow band member, Victoria, aka Posh Spice. Let's slip an interview. Hallowell is older than 21, but never specified how much older, which sent the internet into a frenzy of speculation and gossip. At Fuel to the Fire, Melanie Brown has also claimed since Hallowell has lied about her age for decades and said no one knows how old she is. She even revealed her friend always kept her passport close to her chest when they were on tour as the Spice Girls. Scary Spice admitted she doesn't believe Ginger Spice was born in 1972, despite even celebrating her 50th birthday with her celebrity friend. Speaking of pop queens lying about their age, one for my Irish viewers, Nadine Cole. So, the Girls Aloud band member was on a show called Pop Stars, where she lied about her age in order to compete in the talent show. In a hilarious clip, it was revealed that Nadine had been lying about her age and was just 16, which is two years younger than the minimum age requirement of 18 for that Irish show. So the clip shows her panicking on camera when confronted about her age. She starts digging through her purse for a birth certificate or a passport she knows she won't find. She starts awkwardly calling her mom, asking where her passport is. It's a bit of social media history in Ireland apparently and highly memed in reference there as well. Nadine Cole was disqualified from the competition and sent back home to Derry, but Lewis Walsh later encouraged her to enter the UK version of the show Pop Stars The Rivals the following year and she actually has since had a career. Nicola Colon actually accredited the iconic clip to how she learned how to do her Dairy Girls accent while in an interview with Graham Norton. To quote Sandra Bullock, after a while you have no idea how old you are because you've lied so many times. She said that back in an interview with Detour in 1993, but before that interview and after, the actress has lied about her age almost endlessly. Older, younger, really doesn't matter to Sandy, who uses lying about her age and keeping its true number a secret as a tactic to land roles that she feels she truly desires. So Bullock confessed in 1992 that she lied about her age to get cast in The Love Potion Number 9. The part of the biologist Diane Farrow called for a 29 year old actress, but she was actually younger at the time. The multi award winning actor was told by Barbara Walters that it would be wise to tell a white lie, so she convinced everyone she was 29 to get the role. Laverne Cox opened up about her struggle with aging in a similar fashion. The actress has formally claimed to be born in 1982, when it was actually 1972. Now reminder, Laverne did start off in the drag world, where it's actually really normal for performers to shave off like 10 years or more, but she carried on lying about her age after having a man break up with her when she was 28 for being too old. Worried about castability and desirability, Laverne lied about her age as she made her big break in Orange is the New Black, a show that would accidentally help reveal her true age. See, Laverne's twin brother plays her character 
their pre-gender transition in the show. And when fans went to Google if that fact was true, yo, that's so cool, they find his IMDb, which has his real age listed. And seeing as Laverne and her brother are fraternal twins, the fact that her age was listed 10 years after his on IMDb didn't make much sense. So then on the Ellen show, she's called out and she says, IMDb found out my real age, so it started appearing places, and it was freaking me out. I was having such anxiety, so I started talking to my therapist about it. I started unpacking all the stories I had about being older, and the stories were all like I wasn't hireable, I wasn't dateable, I wasn't effable, and then I just worked through all that. On a somewhat funnier note, Chris Brown's age was revealed when he was trying to win love from the astrology girlies, so he posted his full astro circle chart to his Instagram story. Brown, however, is only smart enough to remove his birth date from his birth chart, meaning one eagle eye Instagram user who studied astrology called him out in the comments, writing, if this chart is true, hey Chris Brown, you're four years older than what you actually claim. Turns out his Saturn was in the late degree of Scorpio, and his Pluto was in an early degree of Scorpion, add that together, and his stars were in Liar Liar Pants on Fire. So Chris Brown's birthday was revealed to be May 1985, not 89, and as a result, he blocked the first astrologer to call him out in the comments and then deleted all of his star charts and refuses to address this. Mariah Carey, for her part, told Complex in 2016, she just doesn't even believe in having a birthday. Mariah Carey's true birth year has long been debated in the press and social media, with evidence supporting both 1969 and 1970 as the correct answer. With that little difference, it really doesn't matter, and it seems Mariah shares my opinion, as she herself is quoted to have said she really just wants to remain eternally oblivious to age. To quote her, I was just dropped here. It was a fairyland experience, she said in 2016. Three years later, the singer maintained that she doesn't believe in aging, saying to an interview, I don't get this 10 year challenge. Time is not something I acknowledge. She also captioned two similar photos of herself in January 2019 after a social media transformation went viral, picture taken at some point prior to today.